But really what I'd like to do is kind of just dispel some rumors about the SBA and um, gain a little bit of knowledge about maybe what your needs are and then teach you a little bit about how to obtain bonding through the Small Business Administration. I've been in the surety industry pretty close to 30 years. That's all I've done. Uh, I've been with the SBA almost three years now. Primarily, I was an underwriter. I've just recently been, been promoted to the marketing program, although I've done some marketing with the SBA previously. What is a surety bond? A surety bond is an agreement between the contractor, the surety company, and the person that's requiring the bond, which is the obligee. What makes a surety bond different than what is your general liability policy, your workers' comp policy, is it's a three-party obligation. Your general liability, general liability or your workers' comp is a two-party obligation. You have a loss on your liability policy, the insurance company pays the loss. It's different in surety. When you have a loss with the surety company, they're going to re require you to pay back the loss, and that's one of the major differences. Here it says here, upon default, the surety must pay the obligee, monetary damages, or complete the contract through project financing or replacement contractors. And then the surety then proceeds to recover from the principal. There's three types of surety bonds. One the performance bond guarantees that you will, you will perform according to the contract. And the payment bond guarantees that you'll pay all your suppliers, your laborers, etc. What we state is do not ever bid with a cashier's check. If you do that and then you're not able to pr provide the performance in the payment bond, you're going to forfeit your cashier's check. That's not a real good thing to do. Well, why are surety bonds required? Well, they're basically a consumer protection. So anyone knows that when they're getting a bond, they're going to be protected. It began with the federal government under the Miller Act, and then it's branched out into little Miller Act bonds. Those are the ones required by your state, county, or local government. And then the private sector, like your general contractors, your homeowners, those type of people also will ask for a surety bond. Well, how do you get a surety bond? That's one of the big questions. First place you'd go is to ask your insurance agent, the person that you do get your workers' comp, your general liability. Ask them, I need a surety bond. You can go to our website, and that's one of the worst links I've ever seen, but <laughs> there it be. Uh, that's our bond agency by state list on that website, and you can go in there and look to see what type of agencies, bond agencies, are already set up with the SBA to do business. You can ask a fellow contractor for a referral. Who do you get your bonds through? Or you can attend a local trade association meeting, and again, ask them, where do you get your bonds? Or a lot of times, uh, agencies will advertise in trade publications, newspaper, yellow pages, or on, you can do an online search. You're going to want to look for a professional bond agent. What these people are are knowledgeable in the construction industry. You want to find somebody who knows about the construction industry. You want to find someone who's active in providing surety bonds to contractors. You want it to be one of their specialties. These professional bond agents have access to more than one surety company market, and that's important. We have small contractors, large contractors. You want someone that represents many different types of surety companies. This professional bond agent will assist you in assembling the initial bond application package. That's one of the most important things. They'll provide ongoing and timely assistance to you. They'll help you find solutions to your bonding problems. Maybe you've had some claims in the past. Maybe you've got some bankruptcy issues. Whatever the situation is, they'll help you find solutions to your bonding problems. And they'll also advocate strongly for you. And they can also provide referral contracts, such as CPAs, bankers, attorneys, that type of thing. It's important to get pre-qualified in advance. Don't wait to the day before the bid. Oh, gosh, I've got to have a bid bond. You're going to be out of luck. That's knowing in advance what type of bond capacity you'll be able to have, single size, what type of work program you'll be able to have, how many bonds you'll be able to do at one time or how many jobs, and then what type of work are you allowed to bid, general contracting, electrical, HVAC. Again, ask your bond agent to help you get pre-qualified. Start in advance. Give yourself plenty of time. Normally it takes between two to three weeks to get this set up. It's similar to the process of obtaining a bank line of credit. Uh, here at the SBA, it normally takes us about four days to process an application, but it will take your bond agent between two to three weeks to get it to us. So that's important. <laughs>